Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Yemi here again from Swing Trade FX. And this is a beautiful video because it's so personal to me. As I would like to highlight three things to you that you need to stop if you want to achieve consistency in profitability and you want to achieve high or maximize your profitability. You know, I see, I get a lot of messages, tons of messages from you guys, and it's a privilege to be in a position to help you guys through your forex trading journey. And one thing I can realize is that there's a pattern that is really just so common among everyone. Everyone is asking different things, but the answer is the same thing. So everyone is frustrated. They are not achieving this profitability. Many people think having learning an early grade strategy is the problem, but it is not the problem. So in this video, I'm here to show you three things that you must learn and you need to stop you know for you to achieve profitability ignorance is a disease it's going to keep you frustrated so sit back and enjoy this go okay okay welcome back um before we go into anything i would like um to share with you that first of all before you even start any trading activity in the market it's always good to have an idea of what is going on in the market which is you want to have an idea of what is driving the market, what is being happening. Is there any way the economic situations of the world that is impacting, you know, the pair you want to trade. And for these, I would definitely recommend the fast bull markets, right? www.fastbull.com. They have all the data that you need to become informed as a profitable trader, right? Um, the, best part of everything is they have instant news release as you can see they have um they've got the 247 uh as you can see they have the 247 news which are the instant news and they have the economic calendar right you can always scroll down every single news they have the ai signals right that gives you an idea of people's sentiment you know and they have other you know, news as regards to analysis they have this new trading analysis uh icon that is right here that you can use to actually see and compare trading analysis with other traders right and you have your poll data right here and for people that actually trade with commitment of traders right cot data is right you can have it right here to actually know what people are thinking on your favorite pairs like the you know gold you can see like 52 people percent are short of the traders right euro usd and so on and so forth so the first thing i would like to recommend to you is for you to actually start um to get into knowing what happens in the market before you even start any trading activity right it's very useful and highly recommended because there's something we call the pre-market you know preparation part of it is going through the news and see what can infect or what can drive or what can impact, you know, your um, favorite pairs for the week. So I would always recommend fastball.com. So let's get back to what we got to do today. So three things, three things you need to stop doing to achieve profitability in forex trading. And I want you guys to pay attention to this because this is not bullshit in any way, right? These things are the reason why you have been the way you are in forex trading. And I want to just break it down for you in such a way that this is going to help you. It's a short video, but it's really one of the most powerful video I've ever dropped yet. And I want you to pay attention. This is, this has nothing to do with technical analysis, but has everything to do with things that are outside of just analysis that can enhance your profitability. The best analysts are not usually the most profitable traders right but the best traders that have understood the different sides and different areas in which can impact their old trading activity in the market are the traders that have come out on top and i want you to be one of them the number one thing i would love to talk to you about is stop trading randomly stop trading randomly stop trading randomly so what is the effect of trading randomly trading randomly means that you do not have a defined set of trading system or strategy that guides your activity in the market yes many people go into the forex market because of the mindset of freedom 
the idea that you do not have any boss, the, the idea that you can use your time anyhow you want. But freedom is actually wanting to have freedom by not having a rule that could guard your freedom is a paradox, right? And this paradox is what affects so many traders, right? You think because you do not have any boss, you begin to have erratic, you know, activities in the market. And one of the most common thing that forex traders display in this is actually lack of a trading system lack of trading system so i might just erase this and write not having a trading system not having a trading system you need to stop this you need to stop this when you do not have a trading system then what is the point of being in the market in the first place? You do not have a structure to what you want to do in the market. Your, your, your activities in the market are not organized. You find yourself jumping from one trend and another strategy and another strategy and another strategy. Before you know, a whole year is gone and you are all over the place. This is usually a big problem to every trader. And I'm going to tell you the importance of having a trading system before we move to the next point. You see, a trading system organizes your activities in the market. It's like a guide to how you must operate in the market. Having a trading system allows you to consistently follow a pattern of analysis. And the importance of having a trading system is that when you have this trading system and you follow it consistently over time, you can be able to optimize this trading system to achieve high profitability because having a, a uniform pattern of analyzing the market or having a consistent pattern of analyzing the market allows you to see your weaknesses. So perhaps let me give you some, uh, um, some lights to that. What are the things that a trading system must have? Number one, a trading system must, must have your style of analysis. You know, that's the first thing. Like for me, I use the multi time frame analysis. It must have an entry, entry criteria, right? Your trading system must be able to give you an exit criteria, right? Your trading system. It's, suppo it's supposed to give you a risk management rule, right? And the last thing is your trading system must be able to give you a trade management rule that allows you to secure your profit while the market is providing it. If you do not have any of this, right, I can promise you that you may never ever be profitable in the market. You can make some quick bucks, but you're going to realize that you are losing it over time because you do not have a system that has been built that allows you to be able to repeat this act of profitability. Every trader or everybody can take a winning trade, but not everyone can consistently take winning trades. It takes you having a system a pattern of analysis, a pattern of operation for you to achieve consistent profitability in the market. And if you do not have a system, I could tell you that profitability will be far away from you. So that's the first thing. Have a trader system. Stop moving from one system to the other. Have a consistent trading system. So you need to stop trading randomly. You need to stop jumping in from one strategy to another. Today, you use the trend line strategy. Tomorrow, you use the supply and demand. Next, tomorrow, you use the ICT. Sometimes, you use the SMC. And you use all types of indicators. You will never improve and become a sustainable trader if you are all over the place and you don't have a particular system of actually seeing the market or analyzing the market. And I hope that is clear. The second thing that you need to stop is very simple. It is stop, stop trading, hold up, stop trading many hairs. 
This is a mistake I've seen a lot of people make in the Forex market. Many of you think that the numbers of pairs you trade is as equivalent to your profitability. Meanwhile, in the real sense of things, it's more of an inverse principle. The less pairs you trade, the more focus you're able to have on this lesser pairs, the more this pairs grows on you and you know it from a principle point of view and the more chance you have of taking winning trades on this pair. So more pairs, analyzing more pairs is only going to cause a mental chaos in your mind. And you know that Forex trading is a very mental game. So the least thing you want to do is to accumulate so much information mentally until you have information paralysis. As you all know me, I trade only one pair. And I've been trading one pair for many years and it has been beyond sustainable. And because I trade one pair, I've been able to identify my pairs and I've been able to have a very, very in-depth relationship with my pair in such a way that I can almost tell you the days of the week that my pairs gives me the most opportunity. I can almost tell you the A plus setups that are almost 90% high probability with my setups. I can almost tell you the kind of trend that I can ride for a long term on my pair that I trade. I can almost tell you how many numbers of opportunities I can see in a week. I can almost tell you all the things. That is because I've been trading one pair over time. Think about it this way. If you master a kind of a kick, a kind of a kick, I'm talking of maybe you're in Miss Martial Arts. If you can master just one type of a kick over years, tell me, aren't you going to be a pro, a veteran at throwing that kick? Of course, yes. But you can imagine you mastering, trying to master 100 kicks over the period of a year. You are going to be a novice in these 100 things. So the best thing is ask yourself, do I want to really be a master at one thing or to be a novice at many things? One of the advantage of trading just one single pair or two or three or a few of them is that it allows you to have clarity of what you're waiting for. That means setups, you will most likely not miss setups because you have fewer pairs to monitor and you can see everything going on, unlike someone that actually analyzes all the pairs and is expecting to actually have setups on everything. They tend to miss more setups. And when they miss the setups, it gives them emotional pain and they find themselves jumping on an already moving trade. This is not a good practice. Focus on just one pair or two pairs. They are enough to get you extremely rich in this forex trading. And I can tell you for a fact because I trade only the GBP JPY and I've been able to actually churn out very, very high numbers of the market week in, week out. Focus on one pair. Go check every real, I'm talking of real traders that are out there. Real traders, I'm not talking of these guys that fix it. Real traders out there, you will see them trading one or two pairs. Why? Why? What is this thing with every uh, top any traders that makes them trade one or two pairs? Because maturity in forex trading will let you know that it's not about the numbers of pairs, but it's about the quality of setups you can actually see with just the limited numbers of pairs that you monitor. So I hope that this helps you. So let me just give you a few advantage of why you should trade one pair. Number one, you get in tune. You get to know your pairs in-depthly. In-depth. Number two, you have less chances of missing Trade. Right? Number three, you become you become a pro at it by what? Number one. Why would you become a pro at it? Number one, you know you can almost get 
okay let me not put it this way the reason why you become a pro at it let me just say verbally because of time is that you can always obtain data from your trading traders uh data is like the days of the week that gives you the most profitable trades like for example on gj i get to see my most setups on from wednesdays to fridays so i am not really that optimistic about mondays and tuesdays except on rare occasions right you get to know the numbers of trades that you can actually get in a week and because you know that you cannot get beyond two trades it naturally kills the tendencies to over trade do you see the importance of having just one pairs or two pairs to trade right and some other data is like what are the setups that are almost high probability and if you're a very conservative trader you tend to wait for this high probability setups alone and it's just about quality over quantity so yes let's move to the last one the last one that i would like to talk about uh one minute okay so the last one i would love to talk about is actually start journaling you need to stop just picking trading randomly and you need to start journaling you need to start journaling you need to start journaling you see journaling is one of the most overlooked part of forex trading but yet in my opinion looking at my experience and my journey it has been the most important tool that you can use to your advantage in forex trading you see journaling is a post market activity post market activity right and what do i mean sorry post uh, forex trading activity sorry why why do we call it like this because it is the only activity you do outside your forex trading activities that can actually build or optimize or improve your skill outside forex trading and what is journaling in short journaling is your ability to actually note specific data and write them down and document them down to find a pattern over time or to find an idea of your performance an idea of your best performance and ideas of like your best trade over time so that you can be able to focus on your strength and focus and maximize it to obtain results this is what journaling is like so every single profitable trader i'm talking of people who have achieved consistency in their trading i can tell you for a fact that they all derive this consistency from a place of journaling but yet most new traders overlook this most traders just think that from one trade they move to the next trade they don't even have a flashback of their last activities if you can't retrospect in life then you do you you are bound to make the same mistake if you do not if you cannot keep an historical data of your activity right there's no way that you can be able to approach the future with confidence so the same thing is in journaling journaling and forex trading allows you to have a snapshot of your activities it allows you to track your activity during your forex trading hours so let me give an example of how for uh, how journaling has helped and maximized my trading to help me achieve consistency number one journaling has been able to review my average performance in a month so let's say for example my average performance in a month is 15 percent it allows me to have a very standard or a very great psychology that allows me to be patient if i know that all i gotta do in a month is 15 percent to make five figures based on my account it allows me to become less impulsive more patient and wait for the high quality trades journaling has helped me know the numbers of trades that my strategy opens up for me in a month 
For example, if the numbers of trade I can see in a month is not more than six or seven using my strategy as a swing trader, right? It allows me to wait. So if the first week of the month, I'm able to see just two trades opportunity, I'm not looking to rush in into the next week and waiting for the market to open with those kind of impulsive nature. It allows me to be patient. So for you to be patient, I can categorically tell you that you need to be able to track the performance of your trading strategy. So for example, all I know is I need five good trades in a month to achieve my five figure profitability target expressed as a percentage of my account. So that means I have 30 days to execute five trades. So if I do not see a trade opportunity on the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, I'm not in a rush because I know that over time, looking at the average performance of my trading uh, activity, I'm able to get five trades on a, on a very average day or month. I mean, it allows me to be patient. Another thing that journaling would do for you is to expose to you what are your setups that gives you high probability profitability let's say you have four different setups you always look out to trade and out of the four you know that ev on every 20 times you've tried maybe the first second one you've had 19 over 20 wins that is telling you something is an information to tell you that you need to focus on these two because these two are your most highly profitable setups in the market so it allows you to see your strength then you can be able to leverage on your strength to maximize your profitability. Journaling helps me to track my state of mind, to know the most recurring emotions that happens to me in the market. Is it greed? Is it fear? Is it uh, anger? Is it anxiety? So I'm able to know what is my biggest enemy as regards my emotion. And it allows me to know how to deal with it. So it allows me to have an awareness of my most recurring emotions. And then I can be able to train my psychology to accept this emotion and be able to allow this emotion flow through without acting on it. This is at the importance of journaling. I'm going to end this video by saying, if you must achieve maximum profitability in the forex market, Journaling must be a daily habit for you. And in the grand scheme of things, everyone, I will repeat this again, everyone can randomly make a profit out of the forest market. In fact, you might be lucky to get $10,000, $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 out of the market. But only good traders have mastered the art of consistently bringing out profit from the market and they are only able to do this because number one they have a trading system number two they do not trade all pairs and number three they have a very good journaling system so i hope this has helped you so much to see that there are things outside of trading that are outside of the operation of trading itself that are way more important than the effort remember Effort does not equate to results. Effort is different from effectiveness or productivity. You can be putting in so effort and achieve nothing. But if you have mastered the art of converting your effort by the reasons of knowledge of the environment that allows your effort to produce good results, this is the only reason in which you can achieve productivity. So hard work is not the same thing as productivity. Hard work is getting into the market every day without a trading system, trading all kinds of fairs, and not generally not keeping track of your trade. But productivity is coming into the market with a trading system, have your own numbers of pairs that you are looking into consistently, and having a good journalist system that can be able to track your activity in the market so that you can be able to know your weakness and strength and leverage on your strength. I hope these have helped somebody. I have my journaling parameters that I use. I usually journal my trade manually because it, al it allows me to self-reflect over having an automatic system that journals my trade. When I write my trading, uh, when I write the, my trades 
or my activity and I journal it manually. It allows me to self-reflect and I can always remember the last thing. The last thing, the thing I wrote the last month, two months, three months ago. That's why I encourage manual journaling. Whatever you write sticks with you over time than whatever is being done for you automatically. So if you want to get my journaling details or if you want to have a training system like mine and if you want even far more trading, you can subscribe to uh, my Telegram channel. I have a bootcamp coming up very soon. Um, you're going to find the link you know, in the uh, pinned above and also is in the description of, of this video. And you can be able to join my bootcamp to have a three days experience with me so that you can improve your trading and you can step into 2024 profitably. And I want you to take this video seriously. Get into 2024 having a system. Anyone can get rich in Forex trading, but not everyone can get consistently rich. In other words, wealthy using Forex trading. Forex trading can allow you to be wealthy only when you have a system that helps you to achieve consistency and, and repeatedly do the same thing you do to produce results in Forex trading, right? But then everyone can put on a random trade and come out with a lucky win, but not everyone can be consistently. Always remember that. The professional trader, the profitable trader have something in common. They have systems that they've put in place and they have the ability of making money out of the market at will using the same system or having a system that guards the activities in the market. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.